Hello, and thank you for tuning into my videos. I wanted to express my gratitude towards the people that have subscribed to me. Um, I just reached a thousand subscribers, and it's amazing. I never thought I'd get to this point. Um, every time you guys watch my videos, it, it makes a difference on on a lot of levels for me, and uh, I really appreciate it. I've been doing this for a while, and um, you know my videos are, I guess they're okay, but I think the idea is I'm just putting out my raw uh, life out there on uh, YouTube, and um, I, I enjoy doing it. And I, so if you like it, you know, please do subscribe if you haven't, and uh, all that stuff. So today I'm making a video um, about an exhaust system I just received. So uh, this is going to be a video for 1998 to 2002 Honda Accords uh, with the manual transmission from what I understand. You might want to look into it to see if you can use the uh, same exhaust kit for the automatics. I assume you probably could. It just bolts on the cat. It's a cat back system. So um, a little uh, a little background. There's the pups right here hanging out. Boo. Boo. Your ball? Cool. Let's get her ball real quick. So a little background. A little background on the uh, on this project here. Uh, 1989, 1998 Honda Accord 5-speed 2.3 liter F20 A1 series motor. Um, mod so far done to the vehicle. If you watched any of the videos, front and rear sway bars, um, uh, engine, cooler intake, California legal, carb certified, and then um, I did uh, bushing upgrades for the shifter. Um, I'm, I have a shifter, a short shifter adapter I'm modifying to be a little more reasonable and actually um, run better than the stuff that comes with the kit. Because the stuff that comes with the kit, is, it's, it's pretty janky. I wouldn't really suggest just rocking that unless you were able to drill it out and get the set pin. Some of you may know what I'm talking about, but the adapter kits just basically throw, make the, um, they make your shit, your, your, uh, sh uh, your shift a lot shorter. Uh, whether it's worth it or not, I don't know. But um, also updated the whole shifter platform uh, with Jenny Mahana parts. And then let's see, anything else I've done in the car? Just HID stuff. But I've been debating about exhaust. I've been talking about the exhaust system for a long time. I wanted to do a California legal DC40, or uh, uh, DC, uh, DC40. That's, an, that's another story. Um, I wanted to do the um, the DC421 exhaust uh, system and then do the cat back later. But I figured why not just get this right here, which is a uh, DNA from Amazon of all places. It runs about 170. It's all stainless steel. Um, and DNA motoring. And I, I'm making the video because I think a lot of people might be apprehensive to just go for buying one of these kits. And I totally get it. I, I actually bought it with uh, the same feelings uh, as as many people might might do. What you're getting is pretty good though, and I'm gonna show you right now in the box what you actually get. It's pretty good. You know, the quality's there. I'm not a fan of the canister style mufflers, but I might give it a shot for a little while, see how it sounds. Um, never been a fan of the way they look, but um, that's coming up next too uh, in this video here. So let me show you what it looks like and see what you think. Again, thank you for everyone watching my videos. It's it's great to have this, the viewership that I'm uh, luckily able to have here. So DNA motoring, I've obviously opened it up already. Um, I got a couple of pieces I had to modify because unfortunately some, some loser cut off my catalytic converter before I bought the vehicle. And that's what actually made me have the ability to buy the vehicle because the person that had it before me didn't want to deal with the cat that had been cut off. Um, so I've got that issue. Normally this would be a bolt on system that goes right onto your stock cat, uh, with the three bolt flange. So I've had to do a couple mods to, to get to this point, but let's take a look. So 
if I can get this to look a little better, hopefully. All right, so what we got here? Some pieces, I'm gonna just lay them out. Let's just lay them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here for a sec. Nah, whatever, who cares? So we got, everything's packaged pretty well. I did notice that, that, um, <laughs> that the box was destroyed pretty much from all the, all these, uh, the hangers here. Hangers that were banging on stuff. You see it pop through the little guard there. I mean, whatever. It's it's like, to me, as long as it all bolts in, I can make adjustments myself down the road. I'm not worried. So you got... I'm just going to go for it. Shaky, shaky here. Whatever here. It's probably a little better, guys. So I'll, I'll lay up. I'll lay up the system, how it's how it looks on the vehicle itself. Um, again, not a big fan of canister style mufflers. Um, haven't heard really good things about them. But that's why, um, before I even bought this exhaust, I actually, I actually really wanted to get something that didn't sound super ricey. No one really cares for that. Um, especially in the Honda scene, you know. And speaking of ricey, what do we have here? The old canister muffler. Now, I got to say, the welds are very good. The stuff on here is stainless steel. It's polished. Um, it does come with the, uh, whatever you call it, limiter or whatever. I don't know. It's just the, creates back pressure, reduces sound and all that. Um, not a fan of this style. You can see, I'm going to, I'm going to tap on it and you can hear how ringy this is going to be here. <clears throat> so if I, you know, if I just take some of this crap off just to get a more of a look. Honestly, uh, oh, there she goes. Hi, Penny. So Penny, Penny's deaf. She's out of here. She wants to play right now. Good girl, Penny. She's sweet. Um, so, let's see. That's a bad example. I'm going to hold it. That's how, that's how, it so sounds to me like there's nothing even in this thing. Honestly, it sounds like there's nothing in it. Uh, there's probably very little substrate in here, which is not going to be good since I'm already deleting the resonator in this exhaust system. But I will give it a shot for a little while and see how, and see how, uh, I don't know, see how it works. We'll see. Um, so here's the basic layout of the exhaust. Um, there's one more piece that goes from the actual cat. And this is where it gets interesting for me because I've had to do some modifications. Again, it would have been a direct fit for sure. But if you come over here, you see... This is the other component. Um, this comes off the cat. This is connecting to the other side here. Hello. Um, let me lay it out. So, here we have the exhaust system. All right, so, it's kind of big. Again, it's pretty nice. It, it's like 170 shipped to your house. I mean, you could go to a muffler shop or something like that, and you know, you could have something like this probably made, probably about $200. But you could do this in your front yard, bolt it up, uh, get it done in about maybe two hours if you're lucky, if you're good at, if you got the tools and maybe some air tools. Um, I would suggest running some penetrating oil where the cat meets the stock exhaust. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut mine off after the cat. Because again, somebody had stole, stole my cat out of my vehicle and uh, left me with this situation here, which is going to be, it's complicated, but it ain't that bad. So let's take a look. All stainless steel, like I said, let's look at some of these welds. Nice welds there, good thick flanges. This would have been what bolts up to the original cat. I ordered this uh, off Amazon as well. It's a flex pipe. 
and it has these holes here. This is for like a, a um, I would guess, I think it's a Cobalt SS or something like that. And they had to order this, which is going to bolt onto my, which is going to bolt directly to the exhaust piping that is on the vehicle just after the cat. So clamp this on, slide the pipe in there all the way, clamp this real good. I did, I, because I didn't know exactly the layout of these, um, where the bolts go for the cat. I actually had to drill these holes out separately. And I just did that. It was very easy. Um, drill them out. Uh, size it up and it bolts on just fine throw the gasket in there and I should be good to go with that part now back to this part um, It is a complete kit man. I mean, it's just, there's no doubt about that all the bolts in there. I believe this Is a spacer at some point for maybe a different Maybe for here if there's for some reason you have a different setup at some point in the design of Honda but it is a uh, true two and a quarter um, and that's inner diameter two and a quarter inner diameter um, so it can be slip fit on the back there uh, if you were trying to do something like that um, and you know the stock exhaust on these cars is pretty restrictive I want to say I'm sure the I'm sure the header, the factory exhaust manifold is just fine. Um, Penny, she can't hear me. Penny, Penny. Sorry. Okay. You know what? You can be cool and just chill. You can just chill in the background, huh, boo? Right. So. Again. Um, you know, never a fan of the canister mufflers. Don't like the way they look. They look to me, I don't know, what's the word? Just tacky or something. But you know what? This is the part, this is the part that's going to make this exhaust system good. All this. It looks nice. It's mandrel bend tubing, good welds. Uh, truly is stainless steel. The flanges, of course, are not. What you doing, boo? You jealous? You jealous? Um, she doesn't know why I'm talking to myself, apparently. All right? What you doing? Um, so, you know, you got the, the, the brackets on here that go right in the factory stuff. And that alone uh, should make this kit for anyone that has uh, a car they're ready to just throw this exhaust system on. Now here's the, it should make it very easy for them to just install it. You know, like you get a buddy, you know, crack, crack a couple cold ones, whatever. And just knock it out, it shouldn't be tough at all. More dogs, more problems, I swear. Um, so let me show you what I have waiting in the, waiting in the, uh, the background here. Like I said, I bought this one first. And what is this? Let me put it in the box to make it look cool. And bring it over there. So, I heard a lot of good stuff about these. And, um, like I said, I will be running... I will be running the, um... The, uh, canister muffler just for fun. Just to see how it looks. See how it sounds. Be in the freeway. Just see how, how it drones, probably. No resonator again gonna be pretty brutal that's why I bought this it's a vibrant performance universal muffler great for Honda's apparently and guess what the twin tip black so good inlet ID is two and a half inches dual three inch outlet length four and a half center center 3.25 body length you get it now now this is where this is gonna make this exhaust system be very good. Look at that. Check it out, boo. Good girl. So, there it is. Pretty badass, especially since my car's black. I'm gonna be really hyped to get this on there, honestly. This is the one. This is the one. 
dual tips. I love dual tips. I don't know what it is about dual dual tips on a on a car. There you go, boo. Good job. Good spot. Yeah, that's a good girl. Wow, she knows how to hang out, huh? Boo's a good girl. Boo is a good girl. She's very smart. That's a good girl. Very supportive pup. And there goes Penny. She's going to lay in the sun. The other two dogs can't come out because they cause problems with the neighbor's dogs. And they, they're cool, but my dogs are maniacs. So if anyone out there is looking to see what a vibrant muffler is like, let's take a look down here. It is very good quality. This appears to be either just painted or maybe like a powder coating on there. I'm not sure, but it is damn good. Pretty heavy. So I know there's a lot of substrate in there. Um, it's going to look very deceptive, I think, on the exhaust system. Um, the only thing I'll have to do is because this is a two and a half inter diameter inlet. This is two and a quarter. I'll have to get a small adapter and I'll just cut this off down the road and have somebody weld that on. Let's see would be, let's just size this up. More or less, you know, maybe right here. This will, I'll, I'll just cut that off and I'll have someone spot weld that wherever it needs to be just to make it work. So there it is. That's the system right there. That's the good, that's the bad, and that's Penny. Good girl, boo. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be putting that on soon here, and we'll see um, how this goes. Hey, shut up. But it is pretty nice, man. For, for, for your money, for your money, you're getting a lot of value. You know, um, if, if you, if you wanted to put on maybe a resonator, I think that would be a good call because this thing has, it's got nothing. Man. This thing weighs nothing. This thing weighs nothing. You know, I would say, I would say it looks nice. You know, it looks nice enough. Uh, let's see if I can get that on camera there. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just not, not gonna be enough. It's gonna have that nasty ricer sound, which, uh, give it a rest, man. Hey, can you chill? Can you chill? Can you chill? Yeah, she says rice approved. Um, so yeah, that's the video, I think. Uh, you know, again, special thanks to everyone that watches my videos. You know, you don't have to subscribe, but it's cool if you do. Share them. Um, I haven't really seen anyone break down this DNA DNA exhaust kit um, on YouTube so far. So, you know, just do one more run over here with this thing. That's a nice touch. Additional support. And it is stainless steel. So even the hangers appear to be stainless steel. I, I could be wrong. It could just be steel. Pretty good components. This should last a long time. And then, of course, this is my addition here. But So, yeah, I think you get the point. If you want the part number, I'll show you that on the box right now. Where'd she go? Oh, this is a cool one. This sticker came with, um, with these, with this, this, uh, these really great clamps. Um, take this off real quick, show you the part underneath. This is the part I got, it's like 27 bucks. You know, it's uh, it's gonna do the job. Only thing I worry about is if this clamp has enough pressure to hold on here. I might have to cut a couple notches in, in the actual stainless steel pipe here to get to, to grip the existing pipe that's welded on to the cat. So let's see, DNA motoring, oh boy, um, mm. 
No, that ain't it. Nope, that ain't it either. Uh, here we go. Here we go. DNA motoring. Of course, it's made in China. This is CBE HA98L4. I don't know. Hopefully, that's right. Anyway, later, Penny. Take care of the sun chilling out. Boo, clearly enjoying yourself. And that's it. Thank you for watching my videos. And um, I'll be doing a sound test drive and all that. Uh, it's going to be strange because I'm going to miss being having a subtle sound in my exhaust system. But I do feel like it's restrictive. And uh, this should open that up a little bit. Without changing the cat, without changing the factory manifolds. And I've been looking it up. Factory manifold, the factory exhaust manifold. Um, I, apparently, it flows just fine. You know, the car doesn't make crazy power. It's just a 2.3 liter. It's pretty good displacement, and the exhaust from the factory is very tiny. I I've never seen more of a pea shooter exhaust. Um, hopefully, it, it it creates power. Um, I think it could. Probably, maybe, I don't know, maybe five. Five horses, maybe a few pound-feet of torque. Maybe I'll lose some torque because it's less back pressure, but I still have the factory cat and a factory manifold, which is going to be good for torque. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next videos. Take care.